In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a pain in the butt quickly. Hey everyone, Dr. O here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. I'm going to break this video into two parts. One that focuses on stretches and exercises that you can do at home, and another part that you can do anywhere as long as you have a chair. So you can do them right at work if you need to. When it comes to glute, buttock, rear end, whatever you want to call it, pain, the biggest instigator is the piriformis muscle. If you're unfamiliar with the piriformis muscle, it's a muscle band that sits underneath the glutes, which comprise the buttock. So with some individuals, they actually have an opening through that piriformis muscle in which the sciatic nerve travels through. And you can kind of imagine if you sit on it all day long, it can kind of pinch or compress that sciatic nerve. So these stretches are going to focus on relieving tension into the glutes, buttocks, and helping to relieve piriformis syndrome. All right, let's get started. So with the first exercise, we're going to focus on releasing tension into the glutes with a dynamic pigeon pose. So if you've done yoga, this might be very familiar to you. So what we're going to do is start off on a flat surface. You can do this right in bed or on the floor and then go into a push-up position. So you're on all fours. The affected side, so in this case is going to be my right side, I'm going to take the leg forward and then sweep it in just like this you're already going to start to feel a stretch into the hip outer glute area. And how we're going to make this dynamic is this. We're going to start off by taking the pelvis anterior. So just kind of like this right here. Imagine taking your belt buckle or your belly button all the way down towards that flat surface. Then you're going to want to slide back. And as you do this, you're really going to feel that stretch in the glute or buttock intensify. Give that a good 10 to 15 second stretch. And at that point, this is how we're going to take it to the next level. We're then going to lower our upper body weight to rest on our elbows. And when you do this, you are really going to get a good stretch. This is one of the reasons why this is probably my favorite way to get rid of a pain in the butt, especially after sitting for too long. So I'm just going to then raise up a little bit more and then I'm going to try to slide back even further. You should notice that you have a little bit more flexibility to scoot back maybe an inch or two. And then I'm just going to keep repeating that process. I'm gonna lower down, really get a good stretch. Hold that for at least 10 to 15 seconds, half minute if you're able to, and then you're just gonna come back up and just keep going back as far as you feel comfortable with. And just keep doing it until you feel that stretch hit the spot that you need and relax it. Give it a try. With the next exercise, we're going to focus a little bit more on the piriformis muscle, which is probably the biggest cause of a pain in the butt. Again, this one's usually caused by a lot of sitting. So if you feel like it's just a lot of deep pain, possibly even like a sciatic-like symptom going down the leg, this is going to be a very deep stretch to help alleviate that. What you need is a flat surface. A bed is perfect. You can use a desk anything that has a little bit of height to it. So I'm gonna take the affected side and then sweep inside with that leg, very similar to the first exercise. We're then going to just stabilize with our hands right here, use your upper body strength, and then we're going to take the back leg completely straight and go back with it until you feel that the knee is in a straight line with the hip. At this point, you should feel the piriformis muscle being activated with a good stretch already. This is how we're going to then get a deep stretch with it. Use your upper body weight and make sure that your back is straight with good posture and then slowly start to lean into it. Use your arm strength to help stabilize this movement. Go to where you feel comfortable, hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds, come back up and then repeat. And then when you do this next one, just go a little bit deeper with it to intensify that stretch and just simply repeat that process until you feel like the tension around your buttock area has been released. So with the second part of this guide, we're going to focus on getting rid of a pain in the butt literally anywhere. All you need is a chair. So this is a great one to do 
Uh, if you feel like you have a pain in the butt after driving for too long, sitting for too long, at work, you name it. So the first stretch is going to be very similar to that piriformis stretch that we did. We're going to take the affected side and then put it up over the leg. Let the ankle rest on the knee so it looks just like that. And then from here, we're going to then put our arms together. I always call this like the Superman flying position and then lean forward into it. The more that you lean into it, you're going to feel it around the hip area, glute area, buttock area, and it's going to become a very intense stretch. Only go to your comfort level. If you can hold this one for 15 to 30 seconds, that's perfect. And then just slowly come back up and then repeat it. And each time that you repeat it, try to go a little bit deeper with it to help intensify that stretch to get more relief off that piriformis muscle. And with this one, don't try to crank into it. I see a lot of people try to stretch out the hip area and get a little bit more relief in there by pressing into it. That's gonna put a lot into the hip and you don't want to aggravate that. So just a nice clean movement with your upper body. It's going to give you the stretch that you need without having to worry about overdoing it. So in a seated position also, you can just do simple knee to the chest. That right there is going to target that glute muscle. Again, hold 15 to 30 seconds, just repeat as needed, and then just switch to the other side. And then from there, this is a very good stretch too to hit the outer uh, hip area. You're going to put the leg over, so rest that ankle over the knee. Grab or cup underneath the knee and take this knee to the opposite shoulder. So just like this, what I'm doing is taking this knee to that left shoulder. And you're really going to feel a very good stretch into the glute area. Now again, I like to hold this one 15 to 30 seconds, just relax, and then repeat as needed. So if you liked the video and got a lot of relief with it, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching.